Where is Grayson? <gasps> there you are! So we are trying a new park today. This is actually at the local preschool. And it is the fanciest park I think I've ever seen. That's the biggest swing set I've ever seen. Are you in the little igloo? Is that what you think it is? <laughs> Gray is having a blast. I have Porter here with me too. He's just watching. <laughs> but this place is awesome. It's all fenced in. So your kids can't go anywhere. Which is awesome. Where are you? And this is the little playground. Look at it. It's turf grass. It's not even real grass. And they've got hills you can climb. And a little theater. There's play sets. It is so cool. Gray's loving it. <laughs> okay, everybody left the park now, so now I feel like I can really show it off. So they have, like I said, they have turf, so it's not even real grass. A bunch of hills you can climb, the biggest swing set I've ever seen. Uh, lots of things to climb, hills to climb. Um, seesaws, spinning things. This has like a bunch of interactive stuff that kids can do. I'm assuming this is like catches water. You can play water, like a water table, I guess. Um, it's got the alphabet on the inside. You can make music. This place is super cool. So, like I said before, this. Sorry if it's windy. Or if the sound is bad, it's windy. Um, this playground is for the local preschool of my city. Grayson, that's for water, that's not for you. So I don't know how, how the preschools are where you are at, but the city preschools where I'm, where I'm at, they um, are like peer programs. And so basically like they're mostly for like kids with special needs. And then they put in those same classrooms with the kids with special needs, like regular kids um, that don't have special needs to be like role models for the kids so that like the special needs kids like can see like what to look up to and like how to model behavior, I guess. I heard it's a really good program. Um, unfortunately, due to coronavirus, it wasn't available last year. And then I don't know if they're gonna do it next year because coronavirus is still going on. So that's why I didn't pick this one for Grayson's preschool. Um, but the, play the playground is really cool and it's open um, to the public anytime after 4 p.m. on weekdays. So um, that's really awesome. So we'll definitely come here. It's only like eight minutes away from our house. So it's really fun. Are you looking out the window? Like I said, it's totally gated. So you don't have to worry about your kid like running away. And even if they did, like there's just an empty parking lot. But yeah, this place is really awesome. Um, it's dead now, it's dinner time. We should probably get going too. But yeah, I really um, think this is really cool. I don't think Grayson's preschool that he's going to has a cool playground like this. Um, but I've heard that this preschool is a lot cheaper than any of the other preschools in the town, probably because it's run through the city. Um, but like I said, I don't know that they're gonna do this program next year due to coronavirus. So um, that's why we didn't pick it, but the playground we can still enjoy. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> Grayson's just running. He might be getting tired. Are you done, Gray? Are you all done? Or do you want to keep going? Okay, so we are back from the park and it is dinner time now. So I have Grayson all set up. Um, he is eating his dinner and I guess I left lunch on the table too. He does not eat hardly anything now that he can get up and just walk away whenever he wants. So I'm really struggling with getting him to sit and eat. I've got Mr. Porter in the high chair here. He does great in the high chair, loves it. Um, obviously lunch was a little messy. I'm getting ready to feed him carrots for the first time. So we're gonna try that out and see what he thinks and I thought I would just capture it on video for you guys to see. So here we go. No. Maybe be nice. I find that if I give Porter um, something to play with, he it distracts him and he'll eat more. So I give him like the container and a spoon for himself. 
Here's the carrots, here we go. You ready? What do you think? Like it? Mm. So I think he likes it okay. He keeps throwing all of the um, things that I like to give him, but I think he likes it okay. Definitely better than green beans. Um, he just doesn't sit very still for me to feed him anything, so I think that's just kind of my luck. Um, like I said, I do like to give him things to occupy him, but then he just tends to throw them everywhere, so then I have to like spend half of my time just like retrieving the objects that he throws. <laughs> but it was great at the park, um, ran Grayson's energy out a little, it really wasn't even that busy. Porter just took his bib off. <laughs> Um, and so we're rushing through dinner so then we can get bath time in bed. Um, so I'm surviving this week without Anthony. I'm really excited. I booked a photographer for Grayson and Porter. Um, for Porter six month pictures and Grayson three year pictures. I just want a few um, of you know individual ones and then ones of them together. So I found a photographer. I wanted to use my usual photographer that I use for all of my pictures here in Columbus, but she is pregnant and having a baby like any day. So that's not going to work. So I had to find someone new temporarily while she's out. Um, she should be back in July, so I should be able to have her do Porter's pictures, um, his one year pictures in September, but um, I found another photographer. Um, photographers are just expensive. I think especially here in Columbus, they're expensive and for the quality that I like too. Um, but if you guys have any ideas of like what I should do for the pictures of Grayson and Porter together, I want them like, obviously I know what I want them to wear for their individual pictures, but then I'm not quite sure what to have them wear for their pictures together. Like if I should have them wear matching or like coordinating, I'm not quite sure. So if you have any ideas, um, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so Porter has finished his baby food. Did you eat it all? He ripped the bib off and I just didn't want to put it back on. So he got a little messy and it's all over his face. I need to wipe his his face. No. He's been sucking on the no. container no. and thinks Eat it tastes one. pretty darn good. Are you messy? Eat he ate one. all the carrots, so um, he must have liked it a little no, bit. Are you all done? Okay, well, and then we need to go take a bath. See what I'm talking about? He just stops, and then it's like you've got so much left. Like, I made him chicken nuggets, there's apples, goldfish, strawberries, and he just won't eat any of it. You gonna eat some of that? Is that good? <laughs> He's just staring. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to get a toddler to sit in his chair and eat his dinner. I don't know if he just, if this is just how it's gonna be. I mean, he knows where the food is. He knows to ask for snacks. I mean, when he's hungry, he does, but he does not eat dinner. Like, at least in the high chair, he would eat all of the fruit and stuff, and now he, like, will eat half of it. He doesn't even finish that, so. I don't know, just kind of tricky trying to figure out life with a toddler. But Porter ate all his dinner. Are you ready for bath time? Porter loves bath time. Huh, you ready? You say bye-bye. Are we all done? All done. All done. I've been teaching him sign language. Well, really, I just do all done right now, but every time I do it, he smiles like he knows. All done. All done. All done.